Hi everyone, welcome to KS Tutor. Hello guys, welcome to KS Tutor. Today we see uh, uh, C++ introduction. Uh, before before I start, uh, I I need to say something that uh, this is our uh, C++ uh, series. So you can follow uh, th this playlist also for C++ programming. So here we cover fully fully cover C++ topics. So first I show some basics of C++ introduction. After that we see uh, uh, some programming uh, that I will uh, cover as, as smooth as possible. Like first I give some uh, uh, theory idea then practical theory practical like that so first i give instruction then i uh, some programming then instruction introduction then uh, programming like that so before uh, before wasting time just let's start so guys please subscribe my channel so that i can uh, motivate myself to do this kind of work so please subscribe my channel qs tutor and thanks so uh, watch this without wasting time let's start so what is actually C++ and how it's coming? So this, uh, this, these things we see in upcoming slides. So let's start C++ introduction. So we, what we see in uh, today topic? First we see history, then programming language, uh, language and hello world. This kind of uh, in hello world's library and main method. These things today we see. So we, uh, where it's coming for C++? C as first it's derived from C. Okay, C language. It's derived from our C language. So in C language, what, what, why, why we need to C++? Because C have some what we say problem or some some problem that will overcome by C++. What kind of problem is it? It is uh, they, there is not classes and other features. There is not increment function also in C. But in our C++ these things will overcome. Okay, who developed this? Bezane, Stropsov and where is developed? Bell Labs. Okay, so this is our scientist name who developed C++. And where is developed? Well, labs in 1979. From that time to now, it's very popular. Okay, so C++ is very useful. Or who want to their programming life uh, in C++ uh, in programming life in C++? So they need to do these things. So let's start. What is a programming language? Programming language is C plus is a high level language. It's a uh, high level language. Okay. Why high level language? High level means uh, it's it's this level. Then after this compiler. Then after this machine language. A machine language we uh, machine la language we say like. machine language we say like where it is uh, it's low level language but from high, high is where we type something in text model that's why it's called high level language so uh, uh, so it's compile it and compile it who compile it compiler okay compile uh, compile into machine code then after see machine code our computer will execute this is a simple process that we see in briefly in the upcoming slide programming language are formal and like a richness of human language you, okay it's formal why is high level language because it's friendly with in english language okay so so that is high level language the programming language formal and lack of richness of human language so it is nearly symmetrically correct but not correct then it's not compiled but it uh, means what is this meaning that if you are uh, something uh, uh, if something uh, is something is uh, not correct you mention here that will not understand our computer that time what, what that time our compiler will what stop you uh, giving some warning like that 
you are doing some mistake in your program so in this way our uh, programming language and compiler will work uh, now the true C++ program we write in the English language we, I, I already told you that they must be written is correct syntax uh, I already tell that you, if you not uh, written in correct syntax the, our compiler will give you some error they must be precise and ambiguous okay so here this is a point me the pro, uh, if uh, for example like that pre ambiguous what is meaning this 1 plus 5 plus 6 it is not ambiguous because they know who will add first if we say that 1 5 plus 6 how we understand who will uh, add in first this is ambiguous so they your code like that is not to be ambiguous and just like that this already this uh, this thing our compiler will already take care for this but sometime our compiler will not understand so you give it some error like that program is sequence of instruction like that first i give the instruction like that just go to like that we give it just go to market and buy some bananas and come back and put in fridge like that there are four instructions there same like the pro programmer is there first go and execute their code after that do some uh, some execution like that our program will do as a sequence of instruction okay i know it's uh, very difficult to understand from now but after uh, when practical uh, purpose is coming then you easily understand these things so now we we'll see how it's work processing how it's processing work see that first what do we see write some uh, code in our text editor then this uh, this thing is is called as a cpp means for example i type my dot txt is format is there means is a text format but in this scenario we type as a my cpp means cpp is an extension or <coughs> c++ format so, so that our uh, c++ understand this is e programming file so that it uh, the our source file is cpp now we give to compiler what our compiler do checking some syntax error is there or not if it's correct then it's coming back to source file Ch after checking yeah it's correct all things then compiler will uh, make object file object file means binary file binary you know our com uh, our all things are done as a binary format zero or one our computer will understand only zero and four, one instruction so there is a linker file linker you understand after if you go in deep but just for now just uh, understand linker like that is mapping with our main memory main memory means ram means in binary file this eyes this is coming one zero zero one like that this every instruction every binary format has some instruction in our computer but it's coming mapping with our main memory so that is uh, taking some space in our main memory okay then it's make other object file then again check is link is there is error is there or not means it is a uh, what we say is a compile time checking is a runtime checking runtime means in compiler it's not executing that time it's just checking our compiler if all thing is good then make a object file after is again checking means it is runtime means that time you executing again you see some error they again going to correct, uh, correct the error means it's giving us a warning by your compiler it's not a say that uh, uh, it's source file like that it's giving some error in your text editor oh sorry in your id id means whatever you're using in my in my our my lecture uh, in our series we're using code block in code block you see some error is coming like that that error is showing in text format say that it's the error so again is going and say that just modify it then again compile so if i see error we just modify it and compile it after if all thing is okay if not error is there then it's make a, making some executive file and 
test and again giving some input like that your code is executing successfully and give some output so it is a simple so it is simple uh, so you can see this things how it's work again i say, uh, say uh, uh, tell you how it's work okay so first see first i type something is going to so source file compile it if anything error is coming in compile time is giving error if no error then then make a object file okay then again you say it's uh, checking in run time means that time you execute if something is error is giving some error if not they are giving a executive file means that time it's executed if you uh, is executed successfully then it's debug debug means uh, uh, it's giving some uh, output after instruction if we again again give some error then it is going to again say that in debugging some error is there so in three phases is giving some error but if a, a successfully executed then it's okay and giving some output to you okay let's see our uh, hello world program is how it's working see this is this is our command okay first command this uh, show like the double slash okay double slash okay double slash means uh, it's used for single line command single means if you want to as a single line if you want to multi line commands like that for example i type here for example you start like that okay your code in mean or here also you something type and something after that you so many lines you need to be what commented at that time we'll start with this and end with this this all things are to be skipped by compiler why we say again again compiler because compiler plays is important role in so uh, role in programming every every programming has some compiler uh, in java also uh, some compiler is there python also some com uh, compiler is there same like so in our c, uh, in our c++ the compiler's name is gcc the name is uh, gnu like that you can search search is what is gcc in internet and be fair you understand what is it but uh, its compiler name is gcc same way every compiler has some names there okay so now we understand what is com comments why uh, comments why we need sometimes we need to uh, recall this what exactly this meaning of this line that time we need to use comments okay so next uh, what is pre processing pre processing means this is our io stream means this is our header file like that header file means it is already include our c++ which giving our input output for example if we here using c out function where is c out uh, if you not include this io stream then they directly compiler say we can't understand what is c out meaning but if you include io stream means it directly understand by that c out is there because because of this io stream because io stream mention c out meaning what exactly c out it is that's why we need to include io stream means io stream is uh, used for pre processing pre processing what your header file it is a uh, inbuilt header file this is io stream is inbuilt header file you can make your own header file also but just for now we see only uh, inbuilt that is we call pre processing means all uh, this is a, a header file we need to pre process okay so this is our pre-processing directory that is used for hash include so next uh, next is uh, our okay welcome so what is this print string character this is this is our string let not it is so simple this is not like that this is our string which coming under uh, what uh, double uh, uh, double uh, columns or uh, so it's very uh, what do we whatever mention in the double lines like that there's that will be print see how it means print something in your uh, in your compiler display means whatever your id is there they, that will be print 
in double quotes what what do you mention in in welcomed in c++ okay after that you need to mention semicolon semicolon why semicolon is means you understand this statement is finished here means terminate this statement whatever uh, scope is there the statement is here after that you can start new instruction means whatever instruction you have start that finish here after that, you can start new instruction means see out section will finish here means see out work is the what you need to what uh, print something or print something means in your double scope whatever you mention that will be print means welcome to c++ will print in your display and what is slash n slash n means new line means is is it's giving a new line after that c++ is automatically going to new lines okay now we next we see return return what is this return return means uh, you have you now you execute exit from this line after this when a way for example are you going somewhere now suddenly you call call one someone come back my work is done that time what do you say you say return back where are you where are you to return back same way uh, it's say telling you where are you just return back so this this things is telling you return back from that statement so after seeing the, this it's coming back uh, your main statement and after that whatever is there that will be executing means here we see that indicate the program and successfully so that's it guys for this today because uh, if i cover more you will be very high trick for you so this is the basic thing so i hope you like this